So, here's our 46 and it has a problem. It doesn't know what time it is. Because this guy right here is a real time clock and it has an internal battery that's dead. That's not going to do. So, I'll take that bad boy apart, hopefully, and it's actually pre loosened. Get that out of there. And you can kind of see it is just. A uh, IC with a plastic box glued to it. So we need to figure out some way to crack that guy open and get a new battery on the leads for the voltage. So that's what we're doing today. Three volt on it. Um, which, if you look at that uh, dot being pin number one, that should put us on this side. Let's see if we can get a reflection on here, but I uh, kind of marked where 16 and 20 should be, negative and positive. And so, um, I've seen a couple ways of going at this. Some people dig in from the top and remove the battery itself. Um, I think, though, the better option is just coming from the side where those pins are coming out of the IC and cutting the negative line from the battery and soldering in a new holder. So I'm going to try and put it in a little shop vise here without breaking it. And I've got my handy dandy Dremel ready for some action. So let me get that ready. kind of see where there's a little bit of a I need something to point with a little bit of a connection right there it looks like the end of the pin it looks like these were flipped up so right about there is the end of the pin I might try and grind that down a little bit more let's do that So you can see in there, I've disconnected the negative terminal by grinding through it. And I have little pads where the positive and negative should be able to be soldered to. So, let's try that. Let's try a little, little solder on there. Uh, too much, too much. Oh, it's gross now. Clean that off. I want to get one of those little tinning pots. I think that would be a whole lot nicer. What do we got going on right here? One day, I'll be fancy like that. Not today. Okay, so got a little bit of solder on there. I think I found, yeah, I found some shrink tube too, which I have a huge amount of, and I don't ever get to use the small stuff enough, so I think I'll take this as an opportunity to waste some for no reason. Okay. So, I'm going to get in here, heat this bad boy up. Oh, not quite. Let's get some solder on that. I have the piece as well. And remember, heat up the metal, not the solder. There we go. 
go. Nice blob on there. Woo! It's really got a ventilation system. I'm pretty sure this stuff's gonna give me cancer. All right. All right, we have one wire. And we have two wires. Clean my tip. All right. And the ever dandy flush cutters. So we're going to put about that much on there, I think. Do that on both sides. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to put this. I'm not too worried about the spare length or anything, so I might just put it together like that. I'm definitely going to glue this bad boy down, but I'm not caring about excess wear at this point. Well, actually, if we do it this way, Do it that way. I might not even need to. Because huh? it'll put the positive right over that positive hole there. So I could probably just cut this. I probably should need my flush cards for that. Oh. There we go. And we'll just solder that over. On to Yanda. That'll be a good time. Because yeah. that's the side, so that's positive. Alright, let's do that. I don't like that. Maybe we should glue this thing down first. Square by it. Okay, so. We're going to just put a little bit on the bottom, and by a little bit, I mean probably a lot. So it's about where we need it to be. Let's see what we can do in here. All right. Oh, I, I did clean these off with alcohol before, off camera, so, let's see how this looks. Looks like it's on there pretty darn good. No complaints. Alright, so I don't know what I want to do about this guy. I want to bring it around. I think I do want to bring it around. that way, I can bring it up and over, and over to here. So, we only need about, ah oh, crap, uh, JB Bolt's coming up. Maybe it doesn't stick to this too well, I don't know. We need about that much wear. So, I'm going to give it that much wire. Alright, so, I'm going to strip the end off of that guy. I don't have strippers that are good enough for this size wire. Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't want to rip that out. So, Let's see if we can get a little exacto action going. Oh, not that. Kind of 
loosen the sheath around them. Really want to storage one of these days and get one of those uh, automatic wire strippers. You don't have to just the, not these kind. I mean, they work. I mean, this is a uh, it's like Klein tools. What is this? Oh, commercial electric. Got them at Home Depot. All right, so that strip. Need to put a little solder on that. Clean that tip. Clean it. That's a that's a clean tip. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Well, it looks dull regardless. Okay. A little solder for that. Woo! Okay, so. This is going to get hot out of the blazes. I'll put a little solder on the, the pad here. And so I was saying this is going to get hot out of the blazes, so I'm going to use these here tweezers. Alright, I think we're good. How does that look? Can we get it closer? That looks alright. Alright, so glue gun's all toasty warm. So I'm gonna take a moment to fill this in. Under that socket, you can see that it's right up against that ISIS slot. A little tighter focus in there. Or zoom, rather, camera terminology. And let's see if I can get this uh, oh, way. Get this chip in here. If you notice the uh, socket, so the little weird spots right there, so let you know that's where pin one should be. So if we look at our thing, we've got an overhang, quite considerable overhang. So we can't even get that guy back in his socket because we got that wire coming down. So I think in retrospect I wouldn't have had that on the top, but I think it's the best place for it. The only thing I think of now is creating some sort of riser for it. I don't know. Alright, so I think I have a solution. Actually, I know I have a solution now, considering I just jammed a couple of these chip sockets underneath. Made a little bit taller, and it seems to work just fine. So, I mean, looks like it's keeping time. That's proper date and, well, that was the date and time as a few minutes ago, but it works! So, it's a victory. Alright, well thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.